So the next level went pretty well. Uh, we've managed to get these 60 rupees here, and we should be entering Rooster level now. Uh, it only took me one more try after we cut, so we're pretty much balanced on our rupees again. Alright, one more try. We have Rooster. Let's play it. Much trickier, 50 rupees. Uh, I hope this goes well, because I'd love to just uh, not have to do too much editing. Because we'll do one fake attempt, and then we'll just cut to the finished one. You can see there's a lot more of the bigger ones. I'm sorry that I'm not looking at the camera for this. I need to pay attention with... Well, I know my capture card has minimal delay. Uh, I need, like, no delay to have a chance at this one. Especially because you can see how many obstructions there are on the top layer. Alright, so... We will jump in and we'll try this and you'll see the finished route. Uh, this is where you get the heart piece, in any case. I have to record them, I forgot. I need to keep all of them so I can actually show the finished temp. I can't just jump like I did last time. That was something I, I guess I should have expected. It'll make it impossible to time how long this episode's gonna be, though. Do 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 do. Well, I guess 30 seconds over the 40 we've had now, so that's a minute already. At least, at least they give you some nice music for what you're doing. That wasn't that bad at all, honestly. There was some serious dodge in there. I guess even rooster level was too easy. Well then, I'll prepare a special challenge for you next time. 150 rupees. I'm, I'm sorry, what? Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I'm like, there's, there's another level over this? What? The Cuckoos, thank you for playing. That didn't take as long, even if I showed everything for that one. That's only gonna be an extra, like, half a minute. But, we're on to the next fun, fun minigame. It's a bunch of them right next to each other. 30 seconds to grab as much rupees as possible. There's no timer. Well, for you guys, there's no timer. For me, there's a timer. It's my recording timer. Let's see. Talk to me within 30 seconds, or I'll take back all the rupees you pick up. Good luck rushing for rupees. So I'm going to wait another second or two, and then I'm going to start it. Three, two, wait, no, that, that's off. Three, two, one, go. Okay. There's not too many, um, well, high rupee things in this one. Like, I think your best bet is to just go crazy, collect ooh, any red rupees you see, because we want to try to get as much as we can to try to make back what money we didn't spend on this. Uh, unfortunately, I think that's pretty much the end of my timer, so... How close was I? Drum roll. Oh, I was further off than I thought. Double, because I was in the last seconds. However, uh, um, we need to collect at least 100 rupees. Alright, um, we want the tornado rod. I'm surprised it's still rented. Um, and we want the boomerang. Those all both seem like good things. Alright, we'll try this again. Try to get it a reasonable uh, pace. And we're going to try to do 30 seconds again. Best 2 is 42 within 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Alright, I only have a few more seconds left, uh, probably enough to lift this, collect these, and I should talk to this one now. 
how close was I? And the results in. Drum roll. 1.43. Did I break 50? I didn't break 50, no! We need to break 100 rupees total. We are gaining some money, at least, with this. Uh, but trying to time it with a, well, one less than one second, because that gets us triple, is um, difficult. But yeah, you can get so many chances at rupees just through that. It made always more sense to me to go for there. Because these ones, it's like, hey, collect all these rupees real quick. Though I wish you would just drop me a red and we could call it real quick. Crap, I think I went over. I think I went over. Because remember the first time we did this? Yeah, we were over by like three seconds. Yeah. First time we did this, we were over by 0.22 seconds. And I was like, come on, really? We're not really using our um, boomerang at all when we do this, so. Let's grab that too now. Alright, within 30 seconds, go. Alright, with that blue rupee, I think we're plenty uh, rupees now. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Talk to them. Alright. I don't know if I got close enough. Drum roll, please. Less than a second, so we got it. We got it, guys. And we passed the 60 mark, so. Alright, super special bonus. We are up to 177. And with the high score, we've gotten a piece of heart. Back to, well, whatever order we needed to do them in. Next goal, I, I want to head up to the Sanctuary, because you saw in the um, Otherworld Sanctuary, uh, we needed to take the Merge Ability to get the key. So if we use the Merge Ability down in the sewers, we should have a new item waiting for us. Uh, I think we can go backwards through this one, if we need to. Yes, all right, we can go backwards, which is going to save us a lot of time. Uh, let's get out our lamp. All right, and we're just going to follow this, because look at a five rupee. Oh, I was hoping I could make the entire track without having to stop. There's the key, we, I mean, there's the chest we got at one point, and there we go. Uh, I don't believe there is anything else we needed to get out of the sewers anymore. Oh, wow, it would have been faster to start from Dante's location. Um, but there is one more area we can go to, because uh, I did we just get a heart piece? Yeah, we did, a little bit ago. I guess the Rupee Rush gave us our, extra, our first extra heart. Our next goal is actually the Blacksmith House. Uh, I don't think there's any quick fly point to it, but it, it was close enough. I'm not too worried. I think we're actually in its map already. Uh, yes. There's the, start, there's the heart piece. We just need to get to it. Which isn't the end of the world. Just a merge, and ta-da! That's our sixth one we've gained up here. Now there is one more thing I'm wondering because there's this gamer right here. I know it was double magic in it, but I don't remember what's in it. This oh, it's another heart piece. All right, and let's head up to the Lost Woods since might as well get that one nowish. Ooh. Foot is asleep. Foot is asleep. Alright. 
So, we do have one or so hidden in the Lost Woods. Uh, looks like it would probably have been easier for us to go from a different angle to start this one. However, we have the access to anywhere that we need to in this area, so... And it's just looking for a specific broken log in here. This one. Merge with this wall and we can get to the heartwood. Uh, the, the Lost Woods heart piece. Getting us another heart container. Let's head out towards Rosso's area because unfortunately there is one annoying one that I don't want to do but it does come up pretty soon. Oh, is he not here? I guess I was thinking at the wrong time. From here, we've gotten a lot of them. Uh, we need to go back to the castle. I'm, I'm following a guide just for simplicity's sake. Um, that way I can actually follow all this stuff pretty easily and not get completely lost. So, we'll head back up to Hyrule Castle. It's been taken over, so that's a bit of an issue. Uh, however, not as badly as you would think. Uh, yep, I'm in the wrong area. Thanks for uh, taking out your friend there. The guards here are so nice. There you are. So as long as you have the power glove, you can actually get this heart piece. Um, we've done Rupee Rush, so our next goal is to head up to the witch's house. It's close to here, it's not quite here, but... Uh, there, she did mention the yellow stuff. We do have plenty of monster guts and pieces, so we should be able to get um, at least some of uh, the potions pretty easily. But, swing up just north of here, into this waterfall area. Another heart piece. A lot of these are just, if you know where they are, they take no time to get. I'm actually going to go to Link's house. I'm, I'm not following my guide for this one, because it's it just, I don't like Death Mountain very much, and that is where it's telling me to go next. So I'd rather pick up the ones outside of Death Mountain and get the two in Death Mountain at the end. For example, this one. It's saying just south of here. We've already opened it up and everything. It's this guy right there. So you've got to go into this area. We've got our nice cave. I like how once I did all the Maya Mines, I haven't died yet. So I didn't wind up needing to refill all my stuff. That at least has been nice. But we head out this area and ta-da! One more gets us another heart container. Well, in that case, let's head to Eastern Palace. Because there is two more over here. One of which, I believe, is that path right up there. Oh, we didn't go that way either. Uh, no, is that just the path to the, the witch? Oh, I never took that path yet. Whoops. Aw, oh, see, you had a red ruby, but no, it's a fake red ruby. So there is another path that is very helpful. Is it this guy? Uh, it doesn't look like it. That looks like the wrong... Color. But there is one here, so... Yeah, it's the same one. I uh, just have to make sure to get it from the other path. So we know there's one north of here. However... And there's a big however. There's also one that's south of here. So we'll go for the south of one here first. Because, well, it's right here.
And there's also... Oh yeah, that's a... That would be a fairy fountain, I believe. So, we're going after this next one. There you are. And this will be the last one we're going to grab this part. So I will see you guys next time. Well, when we go and continue our heart piece collection. Have a good one. See you guys then.